in a rock. Now we've got it. What's that, Luke? It's ready. Stick around, buddy. We can use you. A little tired right now, though. Maybe he's over on the other side. I don't think so. He's up there. Let's help him out. Darn fools. Certainly wasting a lot of good gun, partner. Jenny, let's see what it's all about. Side you're on. Well, let's have a look at it. Well, trigger cops in your old Colorado. <laughs> Big clip. You said it, Jeb. Clinton, the one and only, and last of the Clinton. And still prospecting. So am I. For trouble. Looks like I got it. Move over and give me some room this old smoke pole, my. No need for you to get in this, Jed. My fight. Anything I like, it's a good fight. Well, it came to a good spot to get it. Well, now that does call for a fight. Him and get him. All right, but keep up the fire so he don't spot me. We'll watch her. How come you're prospecting this section, Trigger? I'm prospecting for cattle rustlers, not gold. Cattle country, ain't it? Used to be. Much longer. This cattle rustling keeps up. I won't forget it. Well, oh, maybe it weren't you who was aiming at. Maybe it was me. And maybe you don't owe me nothing. It's no use. We can't get any closer ourselves without taking a chance. Let's get out of here. 
I bet he won't be fooling around with our Brandon irons again. I'll say he won't. Come on. Let's go down and identify that fella you've got. This is Nick Ramirez. He's a cattle rustler from down Sonora way. I wonder who he was working for up here. He won't rustle no more. I'll say none. Come on, let's get out of here. Jed, where'd you leave your outfit? Follow me and I'll show you. I'm crazy to join up with them murders. Well, Jed, that's my business. I make it my business to stick pretty close to you. So I'll be camping hereabouts and doing a little prospecting on the side. Well, so long. Well, so long. But I think you're crazier than the March Hare. If they ever find out who you are, it'll take more than gunpowder to save you. Well, maybe. Well, Jenny, wonder where's a good place to camp. in it. Brother, who's the head man of this outfit? Luke Todd. Know him? No. I can't say I do. But then there's a lot of folks in this country never heard of me. And I'm a mighty good hand all the same. I'll leave your horse here and we'll introduce you to him. Thank you, mister. attention, boys. Say, I didn't ask for no guard. You got one, mister, just the same. Hey, Luke. Yeah. You got company. This is Todd. Now speak your piece. Well, Mr. Todd, this is about the most inhospitable country I've ever been in. I was dropping off a pinnacle this morning to say hello to a bunch of cow oddies that were doing some branding, and they started slinging lead at me. Now I come up here to ask you for a job, and, and I find myself under guard. What's the idea? You're not so bad at throwing lead yourself, mister. If you're the man we cornered up in the rocks this morning, you've got one of our men. Well, I'm... I'm right sorry about that man, Mr. Todd, but... It was a question of him or me, and... I didn't want it to be me. I thought you was one of those sneaking deputies, spying on us down at the Brandon pit. Now, a deputy's about the last man I want to run into, or any other kind of law. <laughs> well, you're in the right place, then. You'll have to take the bunk of the man we lost this morning. 
You ain't afraid of ghosts, are you? Well, no, sir. Not the... Not of their dead ones. <laughs> He's on the dodge, all right. He weren't taking any chances. This lady here has been missing a lot of yearlings lately. Was last seen heading toward your ranch. You know anything about them? Why should I? My ranch is open. Plenty of yearlings come and go that I don't know anything about. Two of these yearlings was found. The brand had been burned over. Kind of hard to identify. Well, what brand did they have on them, Mr. Elkins? Had your brothers. Well, if they had our brand, they must have been ours. I guess they're yours now, all right. Todd? This community's getting fed up on you. They ain't been able to prove nothing against you yet. But someday that branding iron of yours is gonna slip. And when it does... And when it does, Mr. Elkin. What? You guess what. Is that the law? No. He's the head of the Citizens Committee. Kind of has a dislike for folks with loose running irons. Well, I'll keep my eye on him. <laughs> I notice your belt's pretty near empty. You better fill it up. You never know when you might need it. Yeah, I threw a lot of that away in your direction. I guess I'll have to supply myself. What size do you use? 41. Nothing but 45s here. Well, how far is it to town? Well, I... About three miles. If you're going, I'd like to ride with you. Well, I like company. Come on. Where's your horse? Over there. You fellas better go over and pick up Ramirez. Say, ain't you acting kind of hasty? Taking in this fellow who says he's on the owl hoot? Whenever you see a fellow taken to cover, just because somebody happens to be riding in and he can't see who they are, I don't think we're making much of a mistake. Yeah? And right away, he's heading for town. Yeah, you're right. Say, I wonder. Well, this is where I leave you. Why, well, I thought you were going on to town with me. Oh, that was just a good excuse. Well, I can't see her very well from here, but she looks like a mighty pretty gal. She is. Trouble is, she's too nice for me and my kind. Well, if you ain't the kind of a fella she likes, why don't you, why don't you mend your ways? Oh, I would if I could. I guess I'm just too deep in it now. Well, I wouldn't say that. Anyhow, if there's anything I can ever do to help you, son, you let me know. Thanks. I'll remember that. I forgot something. Just in case you forget, I went on to town with you. Uh, I didn't meet no girl. Why not? 
Well, her name happens to be Elkins. My brother don't like that name. All right, son. You know, I have the doggondest habit of not being able to remember certain things I see. Good luck. Man. He said his name was Carson. Carson? But... Yeah, he just thrown up my brother today. You ever seen him or heard of him before? No, only a... Oh, I'm afraid, that's all. Now, listen, you needn't be afraid. I'm getting out of this. I'm not stringing along with my brother anymore. Say, what did you find out? Well, the elected father had a vigilante committee. They're getting every man in the country on their side. They're getting tired of waiting for the law to take its course. Your father? Yes. That's going to make it tough on us. I don't know. He's already told me that I'm not to see you anymore. Says he doesn't want his daughter running around with a cattle rustler. Oh, don't you see, Marty? You have to break away. Or give me up. I never laid a nine on another man's steer. I never rustled one. No, but your brother does. Who told you? I heard my father say so. And I heard him say they were putting a man on your trail. And when I saw that new man, I, I wondered if he might... What have I said? Nothing. I'll see you tonight. What's your pointer? Nothing, I did. I'm looking for Jim Wilkins. In there. Yes. Yeah. The only thing I can see is that we... Come in. I'm looking for Jim Wilkins. I'm Jim Wilkins, and you're... Trigger Carson, sir. Glad to know you, Carson. Meet Sam Slater. Hi, Mr. Hi. Ed Carney and yes, Frank sir. Smith. Mr. Smith. Sit down. Thanks. I was told to report to you for orders. Well, you see, we're all suffering from the same problem right now. Cattle rustling has been going on around here for some time. And the law, such as it was, died about a month ago. Lead poisoning, huh? That's right. Well, we ain't elected no new sheriff yet, but uh, while we're thinking about it, I'm kind of serving as the head of the committee. A committee of vigilantes, Mr. Carson. Yes, sir. You were recommended to us as a good man to take over the situation and act under my orders. Oh, I'm sorry, gents. I usually work under my own orders. Well, wait a minute, Carson. I didn't mean it that way. Well, that's different. You see, I'm a peculiar sort of cuss. I have to do things in my own time and in my own way. That's the only way I can work. Well, that suits us all right. Say, we was kind of figuring on you putting up with Sam there. Sure. Got a room all fixed up for you. Well, that's mighty kind of you folks, but you see, I've located myself a little further out of town. And I kind of thought I could take over the situation a little better out that way. Mm -hmm. Well, when I have something to report, I'll be in and see you. I just come in today to let you know I'm on the job. Adios. Come He didn't seem to like the idea of putting up with me. What do you make of it? Well, I'm hanged if I know. That's the same horse we saw out the Todd Ranch. It sure is. He'll bear watching. That's just what I was thinking. Howdy, Mr. Elkins. I want to see you. Yes, and I want to see you, too. I want you to keep away from my daughter, either. I don't want you or any of your breed hanging around. And if I refuse, Mr. Elkins, what are you going to do about it? Plenty. You're Luke Todd's brother. 
And he's been rustling cattle, and you've been living out there with him, so I guess you're in on the deal, too. Oh, I never rustled a steer in my life. You can't prove it on me. Uh, I can, huh? Well, I will. And in the meantime, I'm going to keep you where I can keep an eye on you. You're under arrest. You're not the sheriff of this county. Maybe not. And I'm occupying his office for the time being, and I got the keys to the jail. And that's where you're going, and that's where Luke Todd's going to join you. do that, you old walrus, you. You know, you're poaching on my ranch. This, this is open range. There ain't no fence around it. I got a right to pitch my camp anywhere I choose. Oh, well, you have, eh? I ain't doing no harm, mister. <laughs> Just doing a little prospecting. Well, if there's any gold around this country, you don't think I'd be raising cattle, do you? <laughs> you know, I thought about that. Say, you fellas got quite a cattle spread around here. Maybe you can use me. Doing what? Well, boy, gosh, I'm the best pot rassler that ever messed up a cook shack for having the littlest to fix. You are? Yeah. <laughs> well, now, that's funny, because we just lost our cook. How come? Did you, didn't you pay him no wages? No, for getting plumb careless. He got in the way of a bullet. And surprising as it seemed, the bullet went clean through him. Well, I ain't aiming to stop no bullets. When to start with you? Well, you can come on now. What's the name? Jed Clinton, the one and only and last the Clinton. All right, Clinton. Pack your junk and let's get going. Okay. Well, up she went. Down she comes. Yeah, what are you doing to him, Todd? Well, we were just getting ourselves a new cook. Why, do you know him? I should say I do. I don't know much about his cooking ability or how well he can sling hash. But I'll give you a tip. Don't ever get him started slinging lead in your direction. Wait a minute, Clinton. I'll give you a hand with that. Sure. You darn old fool. You don't know what you're getting yourself into. Sure, the darn fool. I just delegated myself policeman to watch you and see that you don't get in no trouble. Besides, I'm about out of victuals, and I can't think of no better way of stocking my larder. Come on, get a hold of this. You're making a mistake, Luke. What do you mean? Those two are in cahoots. Bringing them on the ranch together, we'll wake up some morning and find ourselves looking into the business end of a 45. Not on your life. We got them with us, they won't be working against us. Savvy? Oh, I get you. Hey, Lefty. What do you want? Come here a minute. What do you got there? Just caught him, a rattlesnake. You want to see him? Oh, now you know I'm scared to death of those things. What are you keeping him for? Well, I'll make a pet on him. He's a nice one. Big fella, too. Yeah, well, get him out of here. Uh, come on, go up the house. I want to talk to you fellas. All right. Oh, well, sit down. It's cooler out here. Why well, go inside when we can sit out here and enjoy the free air? That's right. You never know where we find ourselves in a spot where there won't be any more free air. Yeah. Yeah, how many cattle got stashed over in that north draw? Oh, about 200 head. Look good, too. Brands all healed up. You couldn't tell them in a hundred years. Frank, ah. how about that last bunch of cattle? Better to push along any time you give the word, Luke. Nice and fat, too. Your marks ain't healed yet, but chuck, that don't mean nothing. That's what you do. You mark them right along with the brand, huh? 
Yeah. New brand, the new earmark. When we sell a man our beef, there ain't nobody in the world can lay a finger on us. I bet you you wouldn't even recognize your own private milk cow when we got through with him. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the idea, all right. If you're going to do a thing, do it well. That's always been my motto. Yeah, we got a market to that beef waiting for us. Hers a little bit big to move at one time. Folks around here are getting kind of excited over losing some of their stock. Might even start asking questions. We didn't get them something else to occupy their mind. Right again. And that's where you come in. You're the newest one in this bunch. You and old donkey ears over there. Well, you... Elkins is the head of the committee out to get us. Elkins has a daughter. And I'm giving you that nice job, Mr. Carson, of bringing that daughter into camp. Well, I tell you, that's a little out of my line. Ain't you taking a chance? You won't only have the committee after you, but you'll have the whole countryside if you bring that gal here. That's just what I'm aiming to do. I'm going to bring that girl here and keep her undercover. And they'll be so busy looking after her that they won't have time to see what we're doing with the cattle. Once I clear that line with the cattle, we'll turn her loose. No harm will come to her. Well, I think you're making a mistake, Mr. Todd. I didn't know there were any women going to be mixed up in this. I came here to go in a cattle business. That's your end of the cattle job. You bring that Elkins girl into camp, and I'll tell you what your next move will be. Hey, uh, 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 where, where's that there cook shack and them pots you want me to start wrapping around with? Take him inside, Lefty, and show him. Come on, ducky ears. Oh, well, wait a minute. Say, did you ever eat any rattlesnake stew? Who ever heard of rattlesnake stew? Yeah, he never heard of rattlesnake. <laughs> he never ate rattlesnake. Well, I'll tell you just how to fix it. First, you get the rattlesnake, then you kill it, then you skin it, then you boil it, then you add the vegetables, and if you don't die, you got a darn good stew. Well, I'll come on in here. Come on. That's the point. If you don't die, you got a good stew. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mr. Todd, I asked you for work and you gave me a job, and I'm going to take care of my end of it. You want the Elkins girl here? Well, you're going to get her. I may be gone a couple of days. It may take that long to convince her. Adios. Okay. Hey, 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 where's Trigger going? I almost forgot. Forgot what? Well, I'm fresh out of chewing the back, and, and what's more, I'm plumb out of money to buy it with. Y you couldn't uh, advance me, say, uh, two bits, could you? I reckon I can stake you that far. Thanks. Here. If you're heading for town, buy me some chawn tobacco. And listen, you darn fool, you ain't bringing that Elkins gal here. Jed, this is the last place I'd bring a decent gal to. I'm arranging a reception committee for those gents that are driving cattle across the border. You keep your eyes open and your gun handy. Maybe fried rattlesnake would go better. We'll give Carson a chance to get back here with that Elkins girl. Then we start driving them stairs across. Now listen, if you want to keep your health, keep away from me without a rattler. Hey, who's got my rattler out here? I didn't hear nobody say they didn't want no rattlesnakes too. Oh, come on, give me my rattler. Sure, nice little fellow. Lots of buzzers. I'll tame him. I knew a fellow once that tried to tame a rattler. He did, didn't he? <laughs> yeah. For a while. <laughs> Till the rattler tried to sleep with him one night. The fellow kicked him out of bed and then stepped on him the next morning when he got up. <laughs> God God, if that rattler didn't kiss him right on the leg. We give him a nice funeral. Oh, uh, you let hey, me... maybe that's the same rattler. Oh, you let my rattler alone. Now, I guess you fellas don't want no rattlesnake. It's got to be beans. <laughs> uh, here's your coffee. Did you notice that there was any mail for us? Uh, no mail, Miss Elkins. Thank you. 
Oh, hello, Lori. Edith, did you hear what happened? No, what? I heard my father talking to yours. They've arrested Marty Todd for being with cattle rustlers, and they've locked him up. Marty, are you sure? I haven't seen him, but I've heard people talking. They're going to make an example of him. Oh. What are you doing here, Edith? Dad, did you arrest Marty Todd? Oh, that's something you've got no business being mixed up in. Sure, we got Marty Todd. And we're going after his brother and the rest of the gang. As soon as I get the evidence I want, we're going to hang the whole bunch. But you haven't anything on Marty. He can't help it if his brother's a rustler. Well, maybe he can't, but we can. We'll be hearing from Trigger Carson pretty soon. And his report will tell us just how much Marty's mixed up in his brother's cattle rustling business. Now go on home. Well, can't I see Marty? For just a minute. Oh, I guess you can. Marty, tell me you didn't have anything to do with this cattle rustling business. I believe you. Oh, I knew my brother was rustling cattle, but I've never had any part in it. Marty, you, you've got to get out of here. But how? You get to my brother and tell him where I am. They'll get me out. We'll go away together, you and me. Will you do that for me? If you don't, they'll hang me. Townspeople are all up in arms with this cattle rustling anyhow, and well, my name's Todd, and that's all they care. They'll make an example of me, can't you see? Oh, it isn't fair, Marty. They can't. Say, where are you going? Laurie, you were right. My father did arrest Marty, but I'm going to get him out. You better be careful, Edith. You don't want to get yourself into any trouble. I'm going to ride to the Todd Ranch and tell Marty's brother. Let them figure a way to get him out. Oh, Laurie, don't tell anyone. I won't, but... How do you do, miss? How do you do? Would you mind letting me by? Well, that all depends on where you're going. Aren't you Jim Elkins' daughter? Yes, I am. Why? Well, I was thinking on my way here that it'd be nice if I could run into you. Haven't I seen you with Marty Todd? Yes, you have. And you'll see me with him again if I can get him out of jail. Well, have they got him in jail? They have. And I'm on my way to get him out if you let me by. I'm going to the Todd Ranch to let them know. Oh, miss, don't do that. That's the last place I'd like to see you go. Now listen. you got us both in a heap of trouble coming here. But as long as we're here, I'll see you through. Now he's got it. Hey, bring her here. Mm -hmm. I don't know what you're talking about, mister. And I don't need your help. I was wrong about Trigger Carson. He sure brought her in in a hurry. So that's why you didn't want me to come to the Todd Ranch. You're Trigger Carson, the man my father sent out here to spy on Marty and the others. You're responsible for Marty being in jail. Hey, they got my brother in jail? Yes, that's why I came here. Marty wants you to come and get him out. If you don't, they're going to hang him. 
In the air with them, mister. And keep them there. Now, the boys had their suspicions of you, Trigger. You wasn't fooling anybody. Take him inside. And you too. You're staying here till I get Marty out of jail. Hey, maybe you weren't ready to cash in your checks right now. All right, Frank. Get the horses. Get all the boys together. We're riding to town to get my brother. All right, get inside. When I get Marty out of jail, I'm going to send you home. Trigger Carson. Don't ever try that again. Horses are ready. All right, Pete. Come here, give me a hand. Tie him up. Sit him down there. And don't let him get away. Keep your eye on her, too. I'm going to town to get my brother. And I'll hand you yours when I get back. Well, by the looks of things, I reckon I'll be here. Come on, Frank. Hey, partner, that's mine. Yeah? Well, it'd have been mine if it would have fit me. Thanks. How do I look? I'm a fool. No, I think you're not a fool. You're a woman, and, well, you know, women are always letting their hearts run away with their heads. You did it for the boy. Don't worry, everything's all right. Hey, Luke, sit down. You make me nervous. about a drink of water. Wash this dust out of my throat. I bet you haven't swept this cabin out in six months. Maybe we've been waiting for you to come along to do it for us. I get it. Hey, donkey ears! Don't call me donkey ears. What do you want? Get him a drink of water. Jim, where's that water? Sorry, Trigger, I was too busy. Come on, you. 
Let's try to trigger that. Quick about it. Come on. Sit down, Pete. You'll find that chair right comfortable. my hat. I don't want it. Oh, when Mr. Todd comes back, tell him I'm sorry. I couldn't wait. things over. I've been thinking a lot over. Maybe I'm wrong. I should have left my brother a long time ago. Say, you mind getting me a piece of paper and pencil so I can write him a note? Oh, I guess not. Get him up, Elkins. Get that door open. How did he get the best of you? Oh, he tricked me. He wanted me to do him a favor. We'll catch up with young Todd and settle his case once and for all. Come on. We're just going to town to get you out of jail. Thanks, I got myself out. Well, that saves us some trouble. We'll start shaking the cattle through and be across the border before sunrise. Get going, you fellas. You heard my orders. Get going with the others. I ain't in this loop. I ain't shaking cattle for you or anybody else. Hey, listen, you'll do as I say or... You fellas go join up the others and help them with the cattle. I'm going back to the ranch and uh, pick up the Elkins girl. And if her old man's got any funny ideas about rounding us up, he'll be afraid to start anything with her in the line of fire. Come on, let's go, boy. Well, that's Luke Todd. Where do you suppose he's heading for? He's heading for the ranch. Now look for me. He ain't going to be disappointed because I'm going to be there to meet him. Hey, that's Marty, isn't it? It sure is. Marty, what happened? I got away from your father. Well, I ran into my brother. He wanted me to go along with him, and I refused. He hit me. Well, you ain't such a bad sort, young fella. Now, you two keep undercover. Keep out of sight. I'm going back to ranch because Trigger's going to be needing some help.
here's my daughter and Marty Todd. Marty, you better make a run for it. That's my father. I'm not running. I'm staying here. You won't get away from me this time, Todd. I ain't aiming to, Miss Elkins. All I ask is a fair trial. And just to prove it to you, my brother and his men are driving 200 head of Russell cattle to the border. If you want him, you can have him. He's up at the cabin. At least he was headed that way the last time I saw him. You ride with us, Todd. Either you come along, too. Well, a trigger just went into the cabin. How did he get away from you? I don't know. He and that old donkey ears pulled it together. Well, I got a way to fix him. I'm going in to get the drop on him. And when you hear me going out the back door, get that box with the rattlesnake in and stick it in through the front door. You get me? You mean you're going to turn the snake loose on him? You said it. from Pete, because you won't get away from me. Hey, Clinton. Raise them, Pete, and back up toward me. The Rattler! Just in time. I won't move. I won't move. If I do, you'll get me. 
What are you shaking about? I ain't gonna kill you. I thought you was in there. No, our friend Todd's in there. That's where you're going. Oh, no, no. Not that. Not that. Why not? You don't understand. I just turned the rattle loose in there. What? There's one of them. You find Todd inside a trigger. The thing that I framed for you, Trigger, turned out to be a boomerang. That rattlesnake got me instead. Why did you want to get Carson? He's the man that cleaned up that Denton gang in Texas last year. But I found out who he was too late. But you're wrong about my brother, Marty. I did all that cattle rustling. Give him a break, will you, mister? Sure we will. Won't we, Mr. Elkins? Sure we will, Trigger. How far is it to a doctor? It won't do no good. I know I'm done for. Maybe it was better he got me instead of you. So long, Marty. So long, Luke. The road I was taking was the wrong one. Take the other one, kid. It's stupid to climb, but when you get there, you got something. So long. Mr. Elkins, I reckon my job is about finished. So long, sir. Goodbye, Trigger. Well, that job was a short one. <laughs> you know, I never did get a chance to fix them metals. I don't know what to start prospecting again or what. Well, you darn old figure. You know blame well you're just itching to trail along with me and see what other kind of a mess you can stir up. Am I right? Don't go to feed! <laughs> 